Welcome to OpenStreetMap. This short video will show you how to add a point of interest, such as a shop or a cafe, to the map. First, select the area you wish to edit and zoom in. Now click on the Edit tab. Log in using your OpenStreetMap username and password. If you don't yet have an account, click on Register Now to create one. On the right hand side is the editable map. On the left is the sidebar which currently shows drag and drop point of interest icon. To zoom in and out of the map, use the plus and the minus buttons on the top right hand side, or use your mouse wheel. To move around the map, either use the arrow keys or click and drag in an area where there are no map features. If you accidentally drag one of the features, such as a road, don't panic. You can use the undo button at the top of the screen to reverse the change. The undo button is also useful for reversing any other errors you may make. Existing points of interest are shown as an icon or a green dot. Click on any of these to view their details in the sidebar. Here we're looking at a church. The basic tab shows the name, religion, denomination, and the source of the data. Depending on the type of feature, you'll see other tabs for recording further details. To reset the sidebar to display drag and drop icons, just click in an area with no map features. To add your new point of interest, simply click and drag its icon from the sidebar onto the map. Then drag it to the correct position. Next, complete its name and other details in the sidebar. If you know the address, you may complete it on the address tab or the website on the web tab. It is helpful to tag the source of your data so other mappers know where the information has come from. In this case, it's local knowledge. When you're ready to save your changes to the map, click on the Save button in the top right hand corner. Enter a brief comment about the change you have made. This helps other mappers. Now click on the Save button at the bottom of the comments box. Remember, your changes will be saved to the live OpenStreetMap database. So, if you're just messing about, don't save. Once you have saved your changes, you may click on the View tab to return to the main map. It usually takes a few minutes for new features to be rendered on the map. However, Depending on the load on the server, it may take significantly longer, so please be patient. Most maps you come across online or on paper do not give you permission to copy their information and add it to OpenStreetMap, so please don't do it. You can find further information on the OpenStreetMap wiki. Click on the documentation link to the left of the map. 